All right, what's going on guys? In our last video, we tested the ESP Nuke and the 3D printed Nuke. We found out, just due to how light it is, it's a little flippy. Today, we're not doing no more of that. We got something that is definitely not flippy, and I would say about as far as you could go in the other direction, because we have the ESP Nuke and the fully aluminum Nuke. We're gonna be testing these two bad boys out today, see how they fly, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna be throwing her far, but we're gonna see how far we can get it. All right, let's do it. Just for reference here, we got our max weight, same disc as last time, 175 gram ESP Nuke. And this bad boy is definitely not that. This is a 700 gram, yes, yeah, 700 grams. So it is four times heavier than a normal disc. Fully aluminum machine Nuke, nice little shiny on top. And uh, we're gonna let it rip and try not to break my arm. All right, let's do it. A little bit, we might be pushing 15 mile per hour headwind right now. So we're gonna go first shot, ESP Nuke. Second shot, aluminum nuke. We're gonna see uh, how they compare. All right, shot one. Okay, a little more height this time. It's still getting a full flight, but it's probably gonna lose a little bit due to the height. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it stalled out a little bit because of the height, but all right. Shot one, mirrored out for the aluminum nuke. Let's do it. Definitely gotta be a little slower with this one, not to not to hurt myself. <laughs> oh, just the sound it makes coming out of your hand. I don't know if the if the phone caught that, but just like as it rips out, it's just such a, like a metallic. Just uh, it's so good, it's so overstable, and it's so heavy. All right, we're about to start ripping on uh, round two. This bad boy went 415, so because of the height, just stalled out quick in the headwind. This one, I'm trying to remember, I think it was just under 200, like 190 something, upper 180s, but uh, I think we can get some more out of it. We may be able to push 250 with it. Going tailwind now, uh, it's going to make a big difference on this guy. I don't think it's going to make a single bit of difference on this one, but uh, we'll find out. All right, let's go. Uh, Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's throw them both on hyzers this time just to see, because it'll be comical to see how far that thing can't go on a hyzer. Going the goal, going the goal. Oh, we just missed the goal, just short of it. All right, hyzer with a 700 gram nuke. What could go wrong? <laughs> Oh, there's no way when you try and when you try and hold on that hyzer, it's like slipping out of your hand before you even release it. All right, while we're walking here to go grab those uh, second set of throws, I do have to give a big shout out here to Casey Griffin. He's the one that hooked me up with this one, the uh, 3D printed nuke. Uh, I was able to design up and uh, print myself, do the whole thing for it. I came up with the idea, brought it to K uh, KC, and uh, he had access to a machine shop, and he was able to hook me up with it so i'm definitely appreciative of him and uh pretty cool that we get to test this out and uh let it rip we're back to the headwind shooting this way just for my own comedy purposes i'm gonna try and see if i can throw a grenade with the esp nuke farther that i can get a full any flex out of the aluminum nuke we're gonna start with the grenade to be fair i used to be pretty good at these i have not thrown one in probably a year so this is probably gonna look really bad but we're gonna try it Didn't get quite enough height on it, but it wasn't awful. All right, it's getting a little uh, little slick from all the dirt on it because it rained, snowed, whatever, a couple days out here, but uh, we're gonna go higher and as much any as we can get on it. <laughs> oh God. That <laughs> I'm not gonna touch it. I'll leave it just like that. We'll walk up to it. I think that disc is at least two thirds of the way in the ground. It is so far in there. <laughs> it is so far in the ground. It's unbelievable. I mean, it literally is over half the disc is into the ground. All right, just in case anyone's keeping track, um, no, this did not go far. And yes, the uh, ESP nuke uh, grenade went probably 70 to 80 feet farther. But uh, we're gonna do, I guess, even more and try and literally like roll the thing to get it to not hit the ground on a spike hyzer. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. 
Okay, and he only hit the ground on a slight hyzer. That was better, it was better. Now we're slowly figuring it out. We're slowly getting uh, how much Annie to put on it, which is literally as much as you possibly can. I'm gonna be honest, I really wanna try a roller with it, but one, the ground's too soft, and two, forehand roller, I just don't wanna mess with the forehand on this. It's too heavy, hurt my arm. The backhand roller, I don't even know if it's possible because you just can't ante it enough. But uh, we're gonna stick to some backhand anties and uh, we're gonna measure this one. We're gonna see how far, just absolute max we can get it. Let's go bigger run up, let's go. Okay. Well, that was a lot better. That was a lot better than the other ones. All right, we just went and got her back. 254 feet we just barely crossed the 250 mark i didn't know if it was doable i definitely don't think 300 would ever be doable unless it's like downhill or something or it got a weird roll but uh that was a pretty good rip and uh pretty happy with it let's keep it rolling i just want to give a quick uh overview here on kind of the dimensions and how they came out diameter almost perfectly the same i would say they're actually dead on the same this one isn't quite as close dimensionally as the 3d printed nuke was um it's just a little less uh arced on the bottom and it's probably a little more arced on the top i don't know how well i can pick those angles up there especially with my thumb face in the way but uh pretty close there inside rims are like perfect depth is good the plates a little thicker than it needed to be just so that uh it didn't break um i mean it is metal but aluminum still soft and if you hit something didn't want it to just blow apart or bend itself so that's where we're at, pretty close. Let's rip it, aluminum time. Uh, I think it's right around what we got last time, maybe a hair shorter, probably 240, 250, but we'll check it out. Just picked her up, ended up being pretty spot on that last one. It was 236, so just under 240. Not uh, not as good, but still a pretty good rib when you consider it's 700 grams, so it's equivalent to throwing four discs at once. Um, that'll conclude her out. Uh, we'll definitely film some uh, future videos with both of these, and uh, the whole rest of the series is going to be making more weird nukes and trying them out, different materials, all this kind of stuff. So uh, if uh, you like the content and uh, want to see more, please be sure to like and subscribe.